Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, I'm glad to see you back. If you're new here, thank you for dropping by and I hope you'll consider subscribing. We do appreciate you all. Um, this is, of course, that time of the month when we do our completed pages. Got a few, got a bit of a mixed bag this month. There's a lot of patterns, obviously, because I'm working on some of those books to try and get them finished within the next, well, year it'll be, it'll be next year now for most of them. Although I will finish another one this year. Um, and some general patterns and we've got some pictures um, as well. So let's have a look at what we've got. So the first picture I'm going to show you is, and these aren't in the order I coloured them in by the way, is in Relax With Art issue 122. I love the Relax With Art books. And I don't colour in them enough, but I did this unicorn with the multicoloured hair. So this was done with my various hodgepodge markers, which I've still got to do a video about. Um, uh, the Calm Over Chaos colouring pens. Um, this gel pens with silver and the oh gosh what are they the link shine is partly on there along with the relax uh, along with the club I can't even say it, calm over chaos ones all of her hair or the mane was done with the pentel dual hybrid glitter pens and I had to order some more although the only one I didn't get is the red black which I love and I'm gonna have to try and get one of those glitter's coming off I love it this one would took me a long time I started it right at the beginning of the month and it took me right up until last I think Sunday I finished it Saturday or Sunday something like that um because I, I did the background first then I did the silver and the horn the ears etc and then I started working on the hair a bit at a time and I just kept going back and forward to it um, doing a few bits each night until it was finished and I really really love this page so that's that one I did two in Spooklets, Volume 1 by Carla Magana, and these were buddy colours with the, the lovely Chelsea at Chelsea's Creative Colouring, I think it is, or whatever it is, over at Chelsea Murray's page, because she's fantastic. So we did uh, this one. This one, again, was done using a bit of hodgepodge pens, and um, my uh, Artix um, acrylic marker, pens the metallics uh, a bit of uh, I think this is the pentel dual hybrid on here as well we've got some yeah they're pentel dual hybrids as well um, but yeah this was a lot of fun I really enjoyed doing it I love doing my buddy colours uh, with Chelsea um, I also do them with Molly I do them with anybody if anybody wants to ever buddy colour with me just um, go over to me on Instagram it's Andy P 74 I believe I would have to check but I'm pretty sure it is let me just have a quick look for you if I got two Instagrams yeah Andy P uh, that's a n d i p 1974 um, there's all sorts on mine uh, it's not just colouring. Um, I do put books and Marilyn and mostly it's colouring though. So if you want to go over there and uh, follow me or DM me, just send me a message if you want a buddy colour. I'm happy to buddy colour and I have got nearly 600 colouring books. So the chances are we're going to have something the same. So just, you know, have a look through my playlist on flip throughs or uh, complete colouring book collections or hauls and let me know I'd love to buddy colour with any of you because it's fun and then we did the next page as well which was the first one we've done and again this is the Artix metallic um, acrylic pens I've got some this is blue I can't remember which this, 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 this blue is from the dual hybrids as well I think she's I wish I'd done her top blue now as well but um because I thought she looked a bit sad. And again, the hodgepodge of pens just for the, the rest of it. But I thought, oh, I love doing these two pages, Chelsea. They were absolutely fab. I hope we can buddy colour again in October. All Halloween. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that one. I did one in the Comfy and Cozy Colouring Book by Jade Summer. It's quite a thick book actually this one 
um, this is the second one I've done in here actually, so that's good. <laughs> I did the little dragon sleeping on his hoard because I thought it was really cute. And again, this is just this is done with mostly the Boldmere markers. They're from the works in the UK. We've got a bit of silver glitter gel pen. Um, that's just a random grey from my TikTok shop pens. Uh, some gel pens just to finish it off. So we've got a bit of sparkle on it, either metallic or some gels for some of the coins. But yeah, that was so sweet. And these don't take long and they're just nice to do. Did a buddy colour with Molly. Hi Molly. And uh, we did one in Tropicoth by Carla Garner. And we did this one. So again, this one was done using various mark. Well, one or two. Well, one marker. Rest of it's uh, the only marker is her skin. And I can't remember what one it was. It's one of my skin tones. And the rest of it is Pentel Dual Hybrids, I think. Um, most of it's Pentel Dual Hybrids. Then there's, I think, the blue is probably looking at it. It's going to be Link Shine. One of the blues is definitely shine. Then there's the Crelando set from uh, Lidl's. Uh, Pentel on her boots because it's red black. I love that colour. I'm going to have to throw out some of them. And that's it. But that's what I did with Molly. It was fab doing that with you, Molly. I really enjoyed it. I hope we can do another one in October. Let's get our Halloween books out and get spooky. I loved it. Now, as you know, I am a member of the launch team for Ava Brown, which means I do get a free copy of their books in PDF format. I print them out and then I decide what I'm going to colour first. And this is from Pocketville. So this is Littleville Pockets, like Polly Pockets. And I did this one using the Crawford and Black pencils, I want to say. Or was it? Might have been Black Widows. Was it Black Widows? Do you know what? It's terrible. Are you, you going to have to start making notes? No, I think it was actually Black Widows. I think. I know I'm using the Crawford now to do one from their new book. But I really enjoyed this one. I posted it on their site and they were like, wow. That's, I got a message, for, I got a, a comment from... Ava Brown Colouring said, wow. <laughs> so I was pleased with that. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's not, could be better. But yeah, I mean, that's pencil. If, if you want to know about the background, it's not particularly completely smooth. But to blend it, I don't use a blending pencil. They're too hard on my hands. I will for small areas, but for a big area like a sky, like a background like this, I use an alcohol colourless blender. Alcohol marker. You get them in every set of markers you get. You get a colourless blender. Um, which is basically alcohol marker and I always use them to blend these big spaces if it's just a little space yes I will use a blending pencil I do have some um, Prismacolor ones but I won't if it's uh, a big space like that but that was that one I'm really pleased with that one I'm, I'm quite enjoying these little, little little ones at the moment I did one in Sachin Sach Davis on magical artefacts. I haven't done one in here for ages. I've got a stack of books downstairs that I want to colour in, which is not going to happen this month because it's obviously Halloween, October. Um, and I, I just did these little gems. This is a colour by number one. And again, this was by using my... Um, which ones did I use on this? This was my hodgepodge of pens. Definitely hodgepodge. Yeah, my hodgepodge of pens just to uh, do it. I do like this one. I think it's, it's a nice little book. So, Podge Podge pens, I'll have to show you them. Basically, it's just a set of pens when they run out, I just tip them all and mix them all up and then just use them <laughs> randomly. Uh, next we have, is it just one in this one? This one? No, we've got two in 100 Best, Colour by Numbers are by A Sun Life, A Drawing. You know with this one, I'm just going to probably just go through it and finish it at some point, but it's not going to be on one of the books to work with, it's just something I like to colour every month. So again, Podge Podge. I think yeah it was a hodgepodge I did this one I like this one and this beautiful sunflower page I like that that's nice and again these is just this is just using my hodgepodge of markers because I'm trying to get rid of some of them and I did get through a few of them last month and I still got too many <laughs> 
to shoot me now. It's not good. Anyway, but I, I love doing a couple of pages or a page in this every month. Just simply because they're nice, they're simple, and they don't take too long. So I will probably keep that one out to colour in again, even though it is Halloween. I'm not going to want to Halloween it all month. So. 100 Easy Mandala Sash and Such Deva. Again, I did two in this one. Again, this is a nice simple one when you're not feeling the whole I want to do it. It's got wet. I expect the cat jumped on it when she was uh, had been out. She does that. But that doesn't matter. Again, hodgepodge. Hodgepodge of markers. <laughs> Miscellaneous. But I do like this book. Again, it's nice and simple to do. And the same with this one. This is miscellaneous markers. I'm not so keen on this one. I'm not so keen on the colours. But uh, still, it's, it's a nice book. Again, this is one I'm just going to work through do a couple of pages each month. And eventually I'll finish it. It's not going to go into the pages to finish pile. That's more, more complex patterns or books I haven't touched for a while. Yeah. I like that one. Okay, we'll look at that next. Bit. Now we're on to the books we're trying to finish or get close to finishing. And I did one in Chibi Girls, uh, volume two by April Amber. There are some Halloween pictures in here. So I will try and do those this month. And we did the little rose girl. I don't know who she is, but uh, she's got little roses. And this again was done with my old touch new markers from TikTok shop. So I've got a new set and my hodgepodge. So as you see, some of them are running out, but that's the whole point is to try and get rid of them as well. So I just need a quick drink. I really, really, excuse me, enjoyed this picture. I do like this book. I know there's some Halloween ones in there, so I will make sure I try and do at least one, potentially two, because I think there's two. There's also Christmas ones, so that's good. Next we're on to Colour by Number Flowers by a Jade Summer. I did one of those. And this one was done using the new set of touch markers, I think. Um, maybe. I missed one. I missed a brown one. I'll, I'll have to fill that in when I come into it next month. Uh, yeah, I know what that colour is anyway, so. But yeah, so that's that one with its one bit that I missed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the new touch markers. Pretty sure. Or maybe it was the old one. I don't know. It's, it's touch markers anyway. It might be the old ones. It might be a bit of hodgepodge. That's the problem when you have so many pens. I know, I'm going to start writing it down, I think. I'm going to have to. Uh, Colour by Number Mandalas. This one, I know, was done with the pens from Tesco. Tesco felt pens. Now, I started this at Mum's house before she fell over and had her accident. I'll talk more about that in my current chat. Um... You might have seen, yeah, um, you might have seen that anyway. Uh, but yeah, before she had her accent, so. And then I brought it home to finish it. I've still got a set of pens down there, though. So, it's another one now. I'm slowly getting through that book. Should I continue with these ones next year, or should I swap them out for something new? Or should I just try and finish them? I don't mind. I'm quite happy. Uh, 50 Easy Patterns. Jade Summer. This was a random selection of Hod Pod. Oh, there's two of those. Hodgepodge um, miscellaneous markers, and all I did was I tipped them out and I used random pens. I just picked a random pen and coloured it. So I'm going to do every now and again. So, doing this, I got as you can see, there's some of these ones I've, I've got whitey marks because they've run out. So, they're the ones I would have taken out. So, yeah. So, there's that one. I quite like doing that every now and then. It's quite fun. Uh, a couple more to go. Then we've got 50 Easy Mandalas. Again, Jade Summer. Let me find it. Where is it? Oh, I've done a few in here as well. I'm not at the back, though. Oh, look, there's a bonus page there. Oh, here we go. Nearly there. Oh, gosh. Why is this one so hard to get to? Oh, OK, this was done using some metallic pens I got from TikTok shop just to try them out they're alright actually they're not too bad I'll use them as backgrounds probably like I do the Arctic's ones they, they're not bad they're not the best but they're okay 
and that's all it was but it's another one done um kawaii color by number color by color Christopia. i've done two in this one i did one I'm, I did the last one of the main book, which is Kawaii, and I did one bonus page. I've still got a couple of bonus pages to go, but I will finish this book this year. So I think this, I think that's the last one, anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that was this one with the donuts. And again, this is the hodgepodge markers. Absolutely hodgepodge. Love them. And obviously the silver outline, which I hate doing, which is why I bought a whole new book of them. And this one, again, another girl with roses in her hair, hodgepodge markers, mis miscellaneous markers, hodgepodge, whatever you want to call them. Um, didn't take too long to do. I do find that the longest part is outlining, and it's not even very good. I think the pen was running out there. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so that's that. So I've only got this one of the rabbits October and November I think that's it yeah two left and this one so I may do one this month I may not it's Halloween and finally you know last month I said I'd finished the Stefania Mira book and I hadn't I found a page that I missed right so let me find it I finished it this month again using those markers from TikTok shop the metallics oops and I have now finished the book. So look out for a flip through that. That'll be coming fairly soon in the next day or so once I've finished filming everything else. So that's everything that I completed in September. What is your favourite page? My favourite page has got to be the unicorn this month, although I'm very fond of the three tropi uh, three Carla Maganas as well, Tropicoth and Spookalettes Volume 1. So I love those pages. Those are my four favourites because I can't pick one out of those. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this wrap-up for the month of uh, September. I can't believe it's October. But let's crack on. Let's get some great uh, Halloween pictures done. And I will see you very soon.